What is going on guys, it is Steve, your semi comprehensive guide, back here with another video tutorial, and today I will be continuing my uh, series of tutorials on how to use, operate, um, whatever you want to call it, how to uh, record gameplay with Elgato. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So in the last video I showed you how to set up uh, your Elgato gaming capture card, um, and how to um, download the software, um, how to buy it if you want to buy it, um, and how to fix some uh, minor issues. So in part two, I'll be showing you how to actually use the application, um, what all this stuff does and all that. And uh, go, I'll go through some issues um, and bugs that you might be able to work out um, on here. So, so the first thing you want to look at, yeah, I already went over this a little bit in the last video, but I'll go over it again, uh, is this top section, the device drop-down menu. Go over here to the settings icon, and it will come up with uh, this little window here. Now, like I said in the last video, if there are any issues with the screen not showing up, one of the ways you can fix that is by going to the input device, changing that. Um, obviously, before you set up, you want to change this uh, to whatever device you are using. You can use uh, pretty much anything. Um, I mean, you can use anything from an iPhone to an Xbox to a PC, and yeah. Basically any device, like I said, that has a uh, has an HDMI port. Other things in this section are uh, the audio. You can uh, change it to analog or HDMI. I always have it on HDMI because I only use the HDMI. I'm, if you were using the um, AV in, you would uh, obviously change that. And uh, you would also change this here. I can't change it because I don't have an AV uh, device to record from, so it's stuck at HDMI. You can change the color range. The settings you see here are all the settings I normally use, except without the Nintendo Switch. I just changed that because I'm using a PC. So these are all the settings I use, with obviously the uh, one change being the uh, console I'm recording on. I um, usually allow 60 frames, I usually just keep it here at better quality, all this. Now if your uh, laptop isn't as powerful as mine, uh, then you might want to turn down the quality uh, to just good, and then not allow 60 frames. Um, that will uh, probably make your uh, Elgato application run a little bit better. Over here we can go to picture, this is all... Um, changing the brightness contrast hue. Uh, most people don't usually change these, they usually keep it um, at their uh, medium levels. If you have a game though that is really dark or I don't know, you have like a contra the contrast is off on your uh, console or whatever, you can change it uh, in here. If audio, we can change the um, audio levels that are coming out from the device. We can add different profiles if we want, if multiple people use this device. And then in advance, this is uh, for mainly for older TVs. Um, you can change the slider bar here to whatever t TV compatibility you have, but like I said, most people are using uh, more modern uh, monitors and televisions, so you probably won't need to use this. That about does it for this section. Now if you go down here, we can see that there is a live streaming tab. I may have forgotten to mention this, but you can live stream from your uh, Elgato game capture card. You can go over here to add account, and it'll give us a drop down menu of basically every single live streaming service imaginable. Obviously the top uh, three here are probably the ones you're going to be using. We can change the speed here with this uh, this little slider here. Um, that obviously is not active because I'm not live streaming right now. And then um, we can also change the uh, title of our live stream. Now, obviously, I can't actually change any of this now um, because I am not live streaming, and I do not want to live stream because I'd be live streaming absolutely nothing. And uh, so, yeah. But if you were to live stream, you would be able to change this, and there would be a little uh, settings menu here uh, with, with just a few uh, minor settings changes. So now on to game audio. This is a, a pretty simple little drop down menu here. You basically just uh, change the volume of whatever device you're streaming. Um, I can test it right now to see if it works. So as you can see here, the game audio is uh, working correctly. Um, you can uh, turn it up if you want with this little slider right here. Other than that, there is not much else to it. Um, if you are running into any issues, um, obviously be sure that everything is plugged in correctly on your laptop and uh, on your uh, game capture card. Another thing to check would be the device you are recording from. Be sure that the volume is uh, turned up, unmuted, and everything. Other than that, that's about it for the uh, game audio section. Down from game audio is the live commentary section. So if you want to um, use uh, your voice over the uh, gameplay you are recording, then uh, you will go down here and you will go to this drop down menu and select the microphone you wish to use. I'm using this wonderful blue snowball microphone. Now this goes without saying, the microphone that you want to use must be plugged in to your PC. If it isn't, it won't show up here. 
and be sure to plug in before you actually open up the application. Um, it's like 50-50 as to whether it'll actually show up when the application is open. So just be sure to have everything hooked up to your PC before you open up the Elgato application. If you're having any issues, be sure your microphone actually works with your PC and with Elgato, and uh, that it's on and functioning correctly. Um, any other issues you might run into would be resolvable through the control panel, going to the microphone settings, stuff like that. Um, now, if we look uh, at this drop-down menu, we will see that there is a little uh, megaphone. This is for actually previewing your voice, so you can actually hear it as you're talking. I usually don't have it on, because it's kind of weird. It's kind of echoey, but if you want to hear your own voice as you're uh, playing a game, go right ahead and enable that to hear it. This will automatically reduce game sound when you are talking. Uh, I have that on because why not? Uh, if you want to keep the game volume at uh, full level, be sure to uh, uncheck that. And if we head over here to the uh, settings, we can uh, just mess around with the audio tuner. This, uh, this just uh, changes the volume levels, uh, changes the threshold. Uh, anything over this uh, decibel level will get cut off. If you need any more help setting up your microphone, just uh, head over here to this I, and you can just click on that, and it'll come up with a page from Elgato uh, instructing you on uh, glitches, uh, issues, errors, stuff like that uh, to help you out. If I didn't cover it, then you can just click that I, and it should lead you to a page with some helpful information. We can uh, retract this drop-down menu, and we can head over here to the Elgato sound capture menu. Um, this is just uh, basically a little uh, prompt for the app. Um, this app right here on your desktop. You could either go into Elgato and click on the little settings or you can uh, click on that on your desktop. I'll just click on this little settings button right here and we'll open the app. And this goes into a whole bunch of other settings for your chat audio. Um, in team chat we can change um, all the microphone settings. Um, it should show up, like in Discord, it should show up as its own like microphone. So if you're going to chat with other people, be sure to set the input and output on like Discord or whatever service you're using as Elgato Sound Capture. If you want to hear them, you obviously uh, select the audio that you want to hear it uh, from, and then the microphone you're going to be using for your uh, uh, actual voice chat. And we can change the volume with this little slider right here. Now if we head over here to music, we can uh, just basically change the music uh, settings that are going to be inputted uh, into the uh, broadcast or recording um, by just going to this drop down selecting where we want to hear the music from. If we go over here to PC gaming, it'll give us um, where we're going to hear our own gameplay from our game live, otherwise it'll be a little bit delayed. And then we can go over here to advanced, and it'll give us all the fun advanced settings we probably, uh, probably won't use, but if you are, then... Um, it's just basically uh, changing the uh, playback location, stuff like that. That about does it for the uh, sound capture drop-down menu. And our final drop-down menu here is the uh, video title uh, and description editor. We can change our title, we can change the game we're playing, the description, uh, the tags. Now I'll go more in depth with all of this in the uh, next video on uh, how to edit and how to upload your uh, game captures. So be sure to look out for that if you're in the future. Um, it'll be in the description along with the previous video on how to set up your uh, capture card. But for the time being, uh, all you need to know is that this is basically for the uh, title uh, and the uh, description of the video that you will most likely be uploading to YouTube or whatever site you'll be using. And that basically does it for this uh, side menu here. Now before I end the video, let's just check out this uh, bottom section right here to the stream command. And here we can change all the overlays for live streaming. If we want to include a webcam, then uh, we can uh, select one of the uh, overlays here. We can select one of the overlays with a uh, the webcam capability. Um, so you can check them out. And I think we can add our own if we want to. It just has to be uh, compatible with Elgato. We can do anything from a basic webcam to the side to uh, whatever this thing is. Now if you do want to use webcam, I'm pretty sure it uses the default webcam. So if you already have a, a webcam hooked up and set up as the default, it should work um, automatically with Elgato. If you're using a laptop, it'll just use your laptop webcam. Um, and it, or if you're on PC, it won't use any webcam. So now we move on to the most important section of all these videos, and this is the recording and live streaming section here. Once you start it, it'll have a little white swirly thingy in the middle uh, that'll let you know that it is recording. Uh, if we want to go back in time, say we missed a, an epic moment or something um, that we didn't get on camera, we can just use this slider and back in time. Back a certain amount of time here. Go back to the beginning of the recording. And then we can pause it, we can uh, fast forward, and then if we want to go back to live, we just uh, 
hit the live button, and it'll go back to live. If we want to take a screenshot of what we are uh, recording, then we can uh, hit this little button right here. This right here says uh, how much room we have on our laptop and how long we have been recording. If we go over here to these two buttons, this is the button that enables the uh, display preview you see right here. This is the button that uh, mutes our audio. And uh, this one right here starts the uh, capturing for the audio, the uh, live commentary uh, input. And then right here, this little uh, green button is the live streaming button that will work. If we uh, have everything set up, I do not have anything set up right now, so it obviously doesn't work. But once we've inputted an account and all that, the green light should light up and it should be uh, available to you. Okay, I think that about does it for this video. I've gone over essentially everything here, but I might have missed something. If I did, then uh, be sure to uh, let me know down in the comment section. Uh, if you have any questions also, questions, comments, issues, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, if you're wondering what this tab over here is, the edit tab, I'll go into that in the next video, along with uh, any other issues I might have found along the way that I might need to resolve. Other than that, be sure to uh, subscribe, be sure to like, um, do all those things, please. Um, and yeah, I've been Steve, your semi-conference of guide, and be sure to have a wonderful day.